Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to the disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. My Father removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, my Father prunes to make it bear more fruit. You've already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Beloved in Christ, grace to you and peace in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nothing can separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing. This promise of Paul for you and for me is our greatest hope in this life and for the life to come. Neither death nor life, nor present nor future, nor anything in all creation can separate you from God's love for you in Christ. But here's an idea for today. If nothing can separate you from God's love in Christ, then you can never be cut off from the vine that is Christ. All of the love and life God hopes to grow in you and bear in the world is possible because you're never apart from the vine. Jesus says, apart from me, you can do nothing. That's not a warning. That's a promise. It's a hope. And you know this connection already if you listen. First John says, that because God's own Spirit lives in you, you know you abide in God, and God abides in you. You're part of the vine, as Jesus promises. So you are part of God. You are living in God because of the Spirit in you. And if you don't know where the Spirit is, do you have any faith in God? any trust? Your doubt and your confusion are irrelevant. Even the smallest spark of faith is a sign that God's Spirit is in you. Have you ever felt God drawing you down a path, showing you someone to care for? Have you ever noticed a gift that you seem to think was God-given? Have you ever had a moment where you felt God was with you? 
then you already know God's Spirit, and God's Spirit is in you, and you abide in God, and God abides in you. And that means that you will bear great fruit. Fruit is the beautiful image that sparks our joy, inspires our imagination, shapes our words and actions. Fruit can't grow unless it's connected to the branch, to the vine, down into the roots, deep into the soil. And Jesus and Paul both love to describe the Christian life to which we are all called as fruit. And that's huge. Because your Christian life isn't a job for you to do. It's not a series of duties that weigh on you. Loving God with all your heart and loving your neighbor as yourself isn't something you have to work hard to do. Your Christian life, your following, your love, it's all fruit. And it grows from your life connected into God's branches, God's roots, to the sap of God's love and grace. Since your baptism, you have been joined to this vine. And nothing, nothing can separate you from God's love, God's roots, God's sap. And that means you will absolutely bear fruit. Isn't that amazing? All the love you know God hopes that you will share. All the grace of God's love that you wish the world could know. All the calling to follow, to love, to care for others, to do justice. All that is fruit. Fruit that God grows in you and in me and blesses the world. And don't worry about Jesus' words about pruning. Pruning doesn't destroy the vine or the branch. Pruning just gets rid of the parts that aren't bearing fruit anymore, or maybe never did. Pruning takes away the pieces that take energy and life away from the fruit. So God's pruning helps you get rid of those things that fight against God and God's fruit in you the ways of thinking and speaking and doing that try to dry up the juice and keep the fruit from bursting into the world, keep you and me from bearing the fruit of God's love. And when we confess our sins and receive forgiveness, God prunes while forgiving. So you could pray for pruning with joy, and with trust, if you know there are things in you that keep you from bearing God's love, ask God to help you get rid of them. Toss them onto the pile of old branches for burning so that nothing can get in the way of love of God and love of neighbor flowing out of you. And you can trust this sap. You can trust that the sap of God is flowing enough for you to live your Christ life. When you struggle with your following, with your call, take a pause and listen for God's love moving in you. It's there. Nothing can separate you from God's love. When you fail to love, or when you despair at your inadequacy to do any healing of injustice and oppression in this world, take a breath. Connect down to your roots where God's hope and love are. Don't beat yourself up for your failure or your fear or your doubt. Just trust this. What God needs you to bear as fruit of love and justice and peace in your life and in this world will happen. And if you have absolutely no idea what the next step on the path is, trust the vine. Nothing can separate you, so your way will be revealed. Trust that. God's sap is flowing in you, giving you wisdom and possibility. God will ensure that you know where to go, what to do, when to do it. But remember that you want to nurture 
this connection as well. Nothing can separate you from God's love in Christ, from Christ's divine. But it's hard to sense that connection if you spend your time at a distance from God or the community of faith. It's hard to hear the spirits moving without others to notice and encourage. It's hard to know the strength of God if you stay away from God's voice and God's gifts. So you strengthen your connections to these roots by seeking and hearing God's word, sharing this meal of forgiveness and new life, new sap for your fruit, staying with and being with people who are also joined to the vine for encouragement and love and support. Jesus' words today are a gentle reminder to nurture that unbreakable connection intentionally so you can know it better. I am the vine. You are the branches, Jesus said, and you will bear great fruit. That's a promise. Through you, it will mean hope for the world. Because nothing can separate you from this vine. And with God's love flowing in you, nothing can stop your Christian life from bursting into the world with love and life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.